Is your Samsung dishwasher stuck in this error cycle? Stick around and I'll show you how to fix it. Okay, so the first thing that I've done is turned off the power to from the breaker and then I removed these little clips from underneath the counter and now I'm going to tip the unit on its side. So now with the dishwasher turned on its side, I'm looking at the bottom here and what we have is a tray. This the entire thing is covered up uh, by a tray or that basically keeps any kind of leakage that might come out of the dishwasher from getting onto your floor. So there's like a bowl right here in the middle and inside this bowl on the on the inside of the dishwasher there's a couple sensors that sit inside there so if it, any moisture from any kind of leaks whether it be your 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 inlet hose or your drain hose this water will collect inside this little bowl where these sensors are and your dishwasher will get stuck into this cycle where it just keeps trying to suck that water out and it, and it airs out so that it doesn't continue to put more water um, into the dishwasher and then eventually you know flood your flood your kitchen unfortunately I've had this happen to me a couple times with this dishwasher um, with a little bit of a leak that I cannot figure out how to fix it's got a little some some leak is coming from either whenever the water is draining out or water is coming in but as I turned it on its side I got some water to uh, drain out onto the floor so I'm going to clean that up and I'm going to take this tray off which is pretty easy to do it's just one or two screws and we'll see what's inside okay so I removed one screw now I'm just kind of going around and popping off the tray with these little clips and what we see inside is this is where the sensor where the sensor is that detects whether or not there's any uh, water down in this bowl this is where the water would collect and I don't know if I can show that very well, but there's some, some moisture built up down here um, in this bowl. So I'm not exactly sure where it's coming from on mine. Like I said, I've had to do this a couple of times. It's the, the leak is either coming from uh, this hose here or somewhere else. And I can't quite figure out where that's coming from. But if I dry this out really good, then the dishwasher will be fine. Um, I may have to dig a little deeper and try to figure out exactly where the uh, where the leak is coming from because obviously this isn't fun to do every uh, couple of months or so. Something to be cautious of as you're taking this apart is you don't want these wires to you don't want these wires for the sensor to pop out, break off. I've actually had that happen to me too. I'm just going to dry this off really well and then put it back together. All right, with the dishwasher pushed back in and the power turned back on, the air code is gone. And now we're going to test it out. Back to normal. Just took about five minutes to fix. Let me know if you have any questions.